Hello there my friends, welcome back to the Scott Ree Project and today the humble chicken. What we are going to be doing is a boned and rolled chicken dish, a chicken galantine. Now a couple of months ago I did a boned and rolled chicken, we made that fantastic chicken cushion which was deboned, stuffed and shaped into a cushion, very popular video, it's had 190,000 views and better still, you guys and girls out there, you were making them and sending me pictures on Facebook, totally blew me away. It was very, very popular. Now this, on a skill level of one to five, the chicken cushion I'd say was two. We're gonna take it up a few notches. This is about a level four. But what we're gonna be left with is a fantastic deboned and stuffed chicken, a chicken galantine, which traditionally is a deboned chicken wrapped in its own skin along with stuffing of your choice, any ground meats, any vegetables, you know, go for it, cheeses, spinach, mushrooms, or just good old sage and onion stuffing. And then traditionally it's cooked poached or roasted, but we're gonna roast ours, but it is very, very impressive. And like I said, a step up from the cushion, but very, very doable. So guys and girls, try this and send me the pictures. I know you are going to dig it. Anyway, I shall get the camera down on the block and we'll go for it. It's so cool, and the way it's tied, it's a picture, baby. Right, let's do this. Chicken time. Okay then, I've got an A-grade Norfolk chicken. Just untruss it. Now what we're going to do, first thing, is take off those wings. Not the first joint, the second joint. Wonder if we can make lollipops with these. See if we can snap push those two bones out, got to have a good grip on it, cut the wing tip off with your cloth, take one bone out and that will give you a chicken lollipop. So again, got to get a good grip on it, snap, push, as you can see that one's broke, so cut the wing tip off again the smaller bone, let's pull out, get a grip, get a grip Scott, push down, there we go, two little lollipops to start with, very cool. Right, next, what we need to do, first of all, if I can cut that, is look for the wishbone, which, just put your knife in either side, and you will see it. This one's broke. There's one side. There's the other side. Get rid of that. Next, from the neck end to the tother, we're just going to cut the skin. And then, a little different, we are going to attack where the wings join in there. So if we expose a bit of skin and you can see where it bends, just get your knife in, give it a wiggle and you have exposed your two wings. Now what we need to do is we're just going to grab the meat. Now this is a bit mad. There's hardly any knife work involved here and grab the carcass and we are going to rip it down then the same with the top we are going to rip it down and there we are going to take the fillets out separate so when we get to this part where our oysters are just in with the knife as you can see there just releasing that beautiful, beautiful oyster meat. So we want to free the meat completely of the carcass, just like that, carcass is broke. A ho, and then with the leg, snap it out through the joint, and again, snap that one out into that ball joint, and then just release the carcass from the chicken and that is one completely 
clean chicken. All we need to do now then is those fillets that were left on the carcass is we'll just get our hands in with our knife. We'll take the one, we'll take the two and if you're not confident enough to do this, there you go, look at that, with just the way I've just done it, by all means follow my other videos and just do it the other way by boning it out. Next, just expose that thigh bone and then with our knife we're going to scrape down the bone till we come to the knee joint. Just gently nip around the knee joint. I'm not going to separate it. And then again, once we've exposed the drumstick, start scraping down the bone, as you can see there. Now I know this looks messy, but this really, really is a quick way to do it. And what we need to do is I'm going to take that drumstick tip off, break the bone, and that leaves that drum tip on. And there's our bone out of our thigh and drumstick. So again then what we will do, same as before, just expose a little bit of the thigh bone, just enough to get a grip, scrape it down. As you can see, you know this is not taking very long at all. Scrape it right down until we get to that articulated knee joint. Again, not cutting through it, but looking for the drumstick bone, so once we've found it, start scraping down it again, just with the heel of the knife. It should start coming away easily. And again, expose. And then, yeah. And we should be able to pretty much pull that bone out. And there we have, apart from the wing tips, which you can do the same way, one completely boned chicken. How cool is that? Right, let's do this. Let's build this. Let's stuff it. Okay, my friends, now you can really go to town on what stuffing you want to use. Believe it or not, I'm just going to use shop-bought sage and onion. I think it's just brilliant stuff. I know, I know, I know. You're out there screaming, going, what are you playing at, Scott? But I just love it. You know, by all means, go to town. Make your own stuffings. You know, wild mushrooms would be fantastic. Or a made sage and onion, you know, with sausage meat, onions, fresh sage, some thyme, whatever you fancy. Now, as you can see then, we've got a gap there, so those lovely fillets we took out, we are just going to pop in, so there's no waste. Then, some of this lovely sage and onion. I know it's cheating, but I just love the stuff. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. I could eat that on a sandwich. Right, we got that nicely stuffed. Get some more in there. And then the cool part is the tying up. So what we need to do, move that over there so I don't eat no more, is fold it and fold it. You can tie that up if you want to, but if you just do it like that and flip it over, there's our basic chicken shape. Tuck in the skin at the front. 
we're going to cross his legs over. Now this is super cool. Right, there's our basic chicken shape. Tuck in any of the skin, cross it. We've left those drumstick tips on and that's how we're going to get the anchor for the tying. Okay, on to the cool part. So, we're just going to cross its legs and we are just going to put some string around it, leaving quite a bit at the start. So, that's our anchor. And what we're going to do is a slip knot, just gently easing it over the carcass and down. We put our first knot there, not pulling too tight, obviously because it's stuffed and it will expand. Again, another slip knot and then we will just gently ease it up. So just twist with your hand, you've made a loop, go over, find your spacing, pull it, and then just like that, that's the end one. So again, Fettle it a bit. And what we need to do, a bit of stuffing come out, is we will flip it over, just like that. Any skin or a bit of meat we can get. Measure off your string. Then what we need to do is just loop it through each string to tie it up, bring it all together. Take your time, and then where we started, put a knot in it, cut off the excess string, and then that is our fantastic stuffed boned chicken galantine ready for the oven. How cool. Does that look? Not bad at all. Right, we'll get it seasoned up, get it roasted, and we'll slice into it. Okay then, to get this trainer rolling, we need to just brown this lovely galantine in the pan. So I'm just gonna add a bit of oil to the chicken, a little bit in my pan, then massage it in, man. Oh yeah, baby. For those lonely nights by the fire. Get it massaged all the way round. Little lollipops, they can stay there. Then season it with some pepper, both sides. Obviously we haven't tied it too tight because we've got that stuffing in there. Especially if you're using a meat stuffing, it will expand so don't go too mad. And then some salt. Get it both sides. And then just get this beauty in your pan. And as per usual, just keep turning it until we've got a nice colour. Then in an oven, it gas mark five, check up there for the conversion. We'll cook it for an hour, check the temperature, and then we'll go from there. So in your pan then, just browning nicely all over. It's easy when you know how. Okay then, so I've just added a bit of colour in my pan. How nice does that look, that lovely galantine. I'm gonna transfer it to a pan, like I said, in the oven, gas mark five, We'll check it after an hour. How good does that look? Mmm, chickeny. Okay, you beautiful people, now the moment of truth. Look at that. That actually took an hour to cook. I'm well chuffed, so let's get in there. Bear with me a moment while I just untrust this beauty. So all I've done then is just cut the wings off. Mm. When in Rome, mmm. Oh yeah, right the money shot, let's do this. I can show you that. Beautiful. And the chicken. It's cooked to 
perfection, nice and moist. So tender. Mmm. The beauty with that stuffing is, as you can see there, the chicken is not dried out. It's absolutely perfect. Get some of that stuffing on there. And of course, lollipop, lollipop. Mmm, lollipop. Mmm. Beautiful. Well, that has turned out absolutely amazing. And like I've said, you know, a lot of you have tried the chicken cushion and also those mini chicken cushions. Give this a go. That was absolutely cooked to perfection. It's so moist, it's so tender. I mean, it's gorgeous. I've got to stop eating it. But you know, don't restrict yourself to chicken. Try it with duck, try it with game birds, you know, pheasants, quails, uh, partridge. Maybe a turkey for Easter would be fantastic, but give it a go. It's beautiful. I mean, just look at it. It's torture, isn't it? Mm. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Leave it alone, Scott. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Scott Reed Project. And like I've just said, please give it a go. Send me your pictures on Facebook and talking about Facebook. You can find me there. Facebook, Scott Reed, the Scott Reed Project. Also on Twitter, at the Scott Reed Project. Get on there, share your photos. A lot of people have come over to Facebook. On the Messenger, we can talk one-to-one. -one. They're leaving me photos. It's stunning. Come over and join me. Also, click subscribe. The button is here somewhere. I really need to reach that 100,000 magic marker. And until next time, I have got to put this away somewhere because I will do the whole lot. You know what I'm saying? So give it a go. Poultry never looks so good, baby. All the best. See you again next time.